One of the great things about this part of Ireland is that it takes about 15 minutes to get anywhere. Just south of Dunleary, you can begin your literary adventure, which features one of the most famous literary works on the planet. Ulysses, published just over a century ago, is James Joyce's masterpiece and is considered one of the most important works of modernist literature. The story centres around one day, the 16th of June, 1904, and the whole thing begins here. He peered down the dark winding stairs and called up coarsely. Come up, kids. Come up, you fearful Jesuit. Solemnly, he came forward and mounted the round gun rest. He faced about and blessed gravely thrice the tower, the surrounding country and the awakening mountains. Seamus, people couldn't possibly come to this part of the world and not chat about James Joyce. He was pretty important around these parts, wasn't he? He was very important indeed. Ulysses, obviously, is very significant. Tell us a bit about Well, of course, all the action of Ulysses takes place on Bloomsday. 16th of June, 1904, was the date when James Joyce had his first date with Nora Barnacle, and he celebrated it in his novel, his greatest work. And uh, so, Bloomsday every year, actually since 1954, when we, the first celebratory Bloomsday took place, there's a big celebration, and now it's a worldwide phenomenon. He certainly was very confident of his own genius. Um, Joyce deferred to only one other author in English, that was Shakespeare. Um, in Ulysses, he parodies the entire canon of English literature and goes beyond that. So he would feel that it was really something deserved, I think. Seamus, the Black Panther, what's he doing here? Well, the Black Panther, uh, interestingly enough, was left on the doorstep one day here. But the, Bla the Black Panther features in Ulysses, where one of the characters, Haynes, has a nightmare where he's being attacked by a Black Panther. So what do they do back at Leopold's gaff when all that's to say has been said? They gaze at stars and Stephen leaves and Bloom heads up to bed, where Molly soliloquy and about every fond caress, till finally she says the word, oh yes, she says it, yes. <laughs>